Hi friends! It's Miss Jill from the Cary Area Library and welcome to Little Kids in the Kitchen! Today I'm going to show you how to make two fun sandwiches. The first is a caterpillar sandwich and the second is a butterfly sandwich. Now, as we cook, don't worry about keeping up with me. If you need more time, you can always pause the video and then restart it when you're ready. Now, before we gather our ingredients, the first thing we want to do before working with food is we're gonna wash our hands with soap and water. So the supplies you'll need are four pieces of bread, some grapes, cherry tomatoes, or these are actually Campari tomatoes that are a little bit bigger, but the smaller ones are fine, a couple pieces of cheese, peanut butter or sun butter, jelly, baby carrots, and then the, the tools we're going to be using are, uh, this is a fruit and vegetable cutter that has a round edge here, round circle, a piece of plastic straw, a butter knife, and if you have, want to use one, you can also use a spreader to help spread the peanut butter and jelly. Because caterpillars turn into butterflies, we are going to begin making our caterpillar sandwich first. You'll need two pieces of bread. Next, you're going to take a slice of cheese and place it on one of the pieces of bread. Flip the other piece over on top. And now comes the fun part. We are going to smash our sandwich. We're going to push down with the palm of our hand and smash it down into our cutting board until it's nice and flat like a pancake. Once our sandwich is all nice and flat, we are going to take what I am using is a fruit and vegetable cutter. It has a shape on one end and a circle shape on the other. We're going to use this circle shape to press it down into the sandwich. Now, sometimes it can be just a little uncomfortable when you, when you push on this edge. Um, so if you want, you can use a hot pad and put that on top and push down. Once it's pushed down, you just kind of twist it just a little bit, pick it up, and I'm going to use my piece of straw that I cut earlier to poke out a little round piece of my caterpillar's body. I've had my first circle cut out, and I'm going to go along and cut out circles as I go then. Again, using a hot pad if you need to. And we are done. The uh, circles are going to be part of the caterpillar's body, but this, I think, is also kind of fun. You can eat a sandwich made out of holes. I don't know. It's, uh, that was, that's pretty cool, too. Okay, we're ready to assemble our caterpillar. We're going to take our little sandwich circles, and you can put them how you like on your plate. My caterpillar is going to be kind of inching along here, I think. One last one for his tail, and then for his head, there it is. A little uh, tomato for his head, and we are finished with our caterpillar sandwich. For our next sandwich, we're going to make a butterfly. Now, I know some caterpillars turn into moss, but this is going to be a butterfly. So first we will spread on our peanut butter and I'm using this spreader because I find it, it has a nice short fat handle and a nice spreading surface and it's easy for me to use. And once I have as much as I want, next I'm going to put on my jelly and I'll do that on the other piece of bread. Alright, we're going to put the two pieces of bread together and now I'm going to use my butter knife. 
I am gonna cut from one corner to another cut, cut corner, making a diagonal cut. So I'm just gonna push down. and cut them apart. If you need assistance with either the spreader or the butter knife, get your adult helper to help you and show you how to do it. To assemble our butterfly sandwich, we're gonna place our two triangles of bread either like this, or you can do it like this, however you like to represent the butterfly's wings. And for the butterfly's body, we're gonna be using our baby carrots and we're gonna put them right in the middle. So I'm gonna put one sort of at the bottom, another one right in between my slices, and let's see, probably one more right here. And there's the butterfly's body. Now our butterfly needs a head and for this, you can use the tomato again, or if you happen to have a grape, you can put that right at the top for the butterfly's head. And our butterfly sandwich is complete. Now, if you want to add a little bit of character to your caterpillar head and your butterfly head, you can do that with another piece of cheese and the, the piece of straw. We're gonna cut out little circles of cheese with our straw and to get it out, we're just gonna lightly twist. And again, if you need help with this, please ask your grown up helper So there I have four eyes, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put two of them onto my caterpillar and to make, him, make them stick, I am gonna use a little tiny bit of peanut butter. And you just need a little dab. We've got eyes, hello. Now, for this part, if you wanna add the caterpillar's filaments, you will need an adult. They need to use a sharp knife, so definitely get your adult helper and ask them to do this. And this is where the baby, uh, baby carrots come in again. We're just gonna cut two little slots up at the top, very carefully. And I'm gonna, I cut a baby carrot in half here. Here's one half, here's the other half again with an adult helper. And I'm just gonna push them in. Now to do my butterfly, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of peanut butter and attach the butterfly's eyes. And then with my adult helper, again, with a sharp knife, being very careful because the grape is a little smaller, make two little cuts at the top for the butterfly's antenna. And I'll take my baby carrot and get them in there. Let's see, there's one. And two. Now all that's left to do is eat our sandwiches. I'm going to take mine home to share with my family. Do you have someone special you'd like to eat yours with? I always think food tastes best when it's shared with someone you love. I'm so glad you joined me today for Little Kids in the Kitchen. Keep your eyes open this spring for real caterpillars and butterflies and enjoy making your sandwiches. I'll see you next time for another fun cooking activity from the Cary Area Library. Mm -hmm.